when writing down the names of pious people such as Sahaba, Sahaba Badr salam, and Naqshbandi Sheikhs, is it better to write them down in Arabic or English or both? Walaykum as salam wa That was on the manifestation and that's the, the reality of manifestation. That's why we said that there's taweez that people don't understand because they don't understand the world of light. When we understand this secret that Allah gave to us, so imagine that you write alif. What angel comes with that alif? And the alif can by awliya's uloom can be opened infinitely in its knowledges. So what power that comes with? So that's why the kalam al awliya when they would write there's an immense power that being coming from them. So imagine then those awliya who had Sultan al dhikr where every breath was all the secrets of Holy Qur'an for anyone to under even try to understand all the light, all the angels, all the reality of Qur'an. What they have Sultan al dhikr is that these big awliyaullah that every breath they breathe in, they breathe all the secrets of Qur'an with a light because Qur'an is a light. It, Allah begin to send a light into their breath and they breathe in that knowledge and every breath out is a light. And with every breath they were reciting all of its secrets and its realities just by the conveyance of Allah sending light through them. And the condensation of their uloom and their knowledges by condensing all their knowledge into just ba. And when they recite ba, it contains all of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. From Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, the Liwal Ham Surat Al Ham all opens, and then from Surat Al Ham, all Quran begin to open within their heart. Just from ba. Because if they carry that secret, then they carry the reality of its knowledges. So when these awliya give you taweez and they would write these taweez is every letter that was written has an immense secret. Every letter that was written when they say alif, lam, lam, hey, it's not just what you read. If they wrote for you alif, lam, meem, they have the entire uloom from Alif to Lisan al Haq to Muhammad Rasulullah because everything for them Allah has condensed. They don't have to carry the whole, they bring just the small condensation that opens everything. So when they write Allahu Haq, it has immense realities, immense lights. When they write the names of the shaykh on the taweez, Every letter of the shaykh's name has a secret and the shaykh being on the taweez brings all of his knowledges and all his nazar and reality upon that. So when you carry the taweez of the shaykh, you're carrying all of its uloom, all of its knowledges and all of their madad because we're trying to teach people now of manifestation. So if I carry a piece of paper and write upon it shaykh nazam. Nazam al Haqqani, it has its secrets upon it, has its reality and has the nazar of that awliya upon it. And wherever you take it, he is watching because you don't understand the power that Allah gave to his soul and to the souls. And it doesn't take anything from his soul, doesn't make him tired, doesn't do anything. So when you write Imam al Hasan, Imam al Husayn, Ashadullah al Qalib, when you write Muhammadun Rasulullah, when you write Allahu Haqq above everything, what type of power this has? What type of lights it has? You know the only people it bothers? Guess who? Tablecloth people, the ones who have the Italian restaurant. Right? Yeah. Why it bothers them? Because it's shaitan, because it has a light. You think if it was bad they would say something? If it was bad they would be encur if they would be encouraging. But because it has a power it's burning their shaitans 
And because they have no understanding of malakut and they speak very bad about Ahlul Sunnah and Awliya. So the harshness of our reply to them is so that don't click on their channel, don't look into their eye, don't hear two words from their mouth, turn it off, turn it off because these are the dajjal will be coming upon the earth, they're already here. That listen to the words of awliyaullah, listen to those whom are Ahbab and Nabi and lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad only so as to not to contaminate the ear and to contaminate the eye because of the, the, the deceit and the immensity of the deceit of dajjal that entering upon the earth. So imagine now the manifestation of these lights that when you have the 40 names of this golden chain and you put it upon yourself, this 40 awliyaullah their nazar is with you and that's why it has power and that's why it's working. And that's why they put all these other things on themselves and they're emailing Shaykh, nothing happened, nothing's working, nothing is, 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 is taking this away. I put this taweez, I put this reality, I listen to this reality and it has a power, it has a reality. But because these shaykhs are very powerful, these shaykhs their fountain is running right now on earth where every other fountain has shut off, this, these shaykhs their fountain is running now because this, these shaykhs their fountain is connected to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad al-Mahdi sahibullah, sahib al unsur and that fountain and that authority is upon the earth now. So these, these, these streams begin to separate very fast. So this power of manifestation, just think that what's manifesting with the tariqah and what they're bringing out. When they're bringing out their emblems, when they're bringing out these emblems these are battle flags and they're manifesting upon the earth. And if people don't know, they don't know. But there's a light that emanate from them when they bring out all of their taweezes because these taweezes have immense light and immense authorities that are accompanying them. They're like the… what's sijil? What do you call sijil? Sijils. In battle you have to have a flag so that from far away they see how… who you are. The taweezes are all that. All of them, even the jinn taweez is from the, the jinn commanders. When they're putting out their taweezes they're all like battalions of armies that are preparing upon earth for the arrival of uh, what Dajjal is planning. Allah's not leaving this to be an uh, empty game. So these are the realities that are manifesting, these taweezers are moving across the earth whom have it, alhamdulillah, who don't have it hope you can get it while you can. So means has immense realities of manifestation. Every du'a that been recited, every app that you download and begin to recite, begin to recite. When you recite the madad in your house, what's happening? What type of lights are coming into the home? What type of reality? When the shaykh's lights are coming, what type of knowledge is coming with every shaykh? These are oceans of reality these shaykhs. When you write uh, when you're reciting from Sayyidina Abu Yazid al Bistami's name and asking for madad, you don't think that the nazar and the reality and the oceans of the secrets of that soul are coming into the home? Yeah. That, but it requires people whom are sincere because sincere people say they can look at a bird and cry. Everybody else wants to throw a rock at it. So the difference between a sincere servant they only understand what we're talking about. Everyone else doesn't know what he's talking about, this bearded guy, why he keeps crying on TV. But sincere people, they can look at a bird and cry. Why? Because they know the bird, poor guy has no head but an immense heart. And with that heart of his, look how much he loves Allah and flies. And his love is more than me because I can't fly and I'm shamed. The Ya Rabbi gave me all such a big head and I can't fly, I can't do nothing. So it means that when we have sincerity the heart begins to understand, good God what is around us, what has Allah given to us? How could we feel that we're, we're in… we have a shortcoming when He gave everything but we don't even know what we have. 
and that's why they teach and that's why they propagate and, and that's why they're trying their best to, to spread the good word inshaAllah. Long answer, huh? As Salaam Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. At Maghrib time, should we cover our house windows? What is the reality upon that? Yeah, definitely. If you, if you can, and, and, and again, if you have permission, and all the families on the same page. That if you, <laughs> if you're in the West. There's a Disney cartoon called Gargoyles. So if you want to verify my teaching, you download the Disney cartoon called Gargoyle. Huh, is Tawfiq's favorite or Tosif's favorite? Because <laughs> sometimes we talk and people are like, what are you talking about? You'll find more proof in what we talk about with shaitan because he's doing it and he's promoting it. So what happens at Maghrib time? They come alive. They hide during the daytime because human and them, they don't want to interact, they don't want to get burned by them, they try to keep their separation. But night time the evilness comes out and that's why the birds are crying, their, their praising is a crying. At fajr time they're praising and saying, alhamdulillah. At the night time in maghrib they're asking Allah forgiveness and protection from the azab of night and the, the, that which Allah created that moves in the darkness and in the shadows. So these shayateen and the nefarious and evil creatures, they become very active at that night time. So when we have taweezes on our home, they can't penetrate the energy that is now securing that environment. And they even have shows like that, that they put things on the thing and all of a sudden the person can't walk in, can't enter in. And that's why every Dracula movie teaches you adab, right? That the Dracula comes to the door and says, you have to invite me in. Why? Why he just doesn't come in and eat people? He's teaching you that Allah has restricted him from entering into the premises. So then this taweez is an example that creates a light that they cannot penetrate that reality. But doesn't mean that they can't stay far away and begin to shoot arrows into the home. So they can shoot their energy and negativity into the home that hit people, make them to begin fighting, make them to begin angry, make them to become sick. So these energies are best that you close off the windows because they already have a shield that they can't come through the wall, they can't come through anything. But from far they can send their nazar and deceit and, and, and bad energy into the homes. So then was recommended by Shaykh Abdul Faiz al Daghestani but the Salah Siru was close off your windows, bring on all your shades and alhamdulillah safeguard yourself from the, the, the badness and the evilness that is in existence, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Should we be putting a taweez on every window in the house then? Yeah, we have the, the, the small sticker one that you can do that, you put only into the corner of the window or at least every couple windows because once it's there it's just an energy that now coming into the home. So it's not like they can find a crack and they go this way. It's creating an energy into the home that they're not interested in, in, in that environment. And then you have a taweez in the rooms that are nicely framed. You put the taweez on the room, you put the taweez on the window, you put taweez on your car and you put taweez upon yourself. And that marks the servant that I'm from the Muhammadan kingdom under these awliyaullah and your flag is up. Uh, As Salaamu Sayyidi, is it also, recommend, is it also recommended to uh, put the flag up at work? If you have your own environment otherwise you don't want to create an agitation and, and, and all sorts of negative energies start to aggravate you. If, if, so it's, it's best that you keep to your person and to your private space because you start putting that up and creating an energy conflict and, and you have different difficulties. As Salaamu Alaikum respected shaykh. Walaykum As Salaam wa uh, Can you please explain how to visualize the shaykh during meditation? Yeah, you sit on uh, the position that you are sitting and you visualize 
and not through your head. That when you're sitting and trying to look through your meditation, don't keep your head up. Because then when you close your eyes like this, just by virtue you, you try to look through your eyeballs. So you're trying to look through here and close your eyes. But this is not here, this is not the spiritual vision. The spiritual vision is that put your head down so that to tell yourself, this is not from my eyes, that this is a vision from my heart. So when I put my head down then I remember how my shaykh is sitting right there, I can see him sitting right in front of me and that I'm visualize myself in his presence and that ask please from your nazar and your light to send into my heart and that I'm nothing, I'm nothing. And then you do that every day and then to take away the waswas because as soon as you want to sit and contemplate shaitan go, oh, you got to make a sandwich, you, you got to go do some work, you had some errands, then I put salawat. I put the nasheeds, I put these nice uh, praisings upon Sayyidina Muhammad so that I'm like in Medina. So I feel myself that I'm in Medina with these beautiful praisings, I'm sitting and then I'm visualizing my shaykh in front of me and that, please dress me from your light and I'm nothing. And I visualize that light coming and dressing my heart. And you do day every day, every day, every day, every day and it becomes stronger and stronger and stronger. And hold your, your thumb so that the connection is with your heart. So that you're focusing on the energy of your heart and feel my being with light, with your light. InshaAllah slowly, slowly and they should feel a strong connection. Email help me so that we can send the article with more detailed instructions inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum, bless Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Can you please give us any advice on how to stay safe for Halloween? You do zikr. I thought Halloween was this Thursday, <laughs> forgot what day it was, what month it was, everything. InshaAllah whenever it is then just do your zikr, do, do the different practices, alhamdulillah. That the, you know your practices are strong, there's nothing to be scared of. The only danger is when you try to imitate and uh, imitate the people whom, whom are, are doing things that are maybe not appropriate. So. There's nothing to fear that to do your practices and to do the zikr and read salawats in the house and alhamdulillah everything should be good. Uh, As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Can you kindly explain the power of reciting the Laylatul Khairat and how to recite it? Tawseef InshaAllah. Recite Dalal Khairat is very good, alhamdulillah. We have it on the app, recite it, very powerful and it has its instructions on how to recite it, has an immense reality, immense ocean of power and uh, or what can you say more than it, it's immensely powerful. And that these are from the Divinely Kingdom and recite it. Main thing is don't be too, what's the word? Ali Tawfiq, what's the word for being too critical or meticulous? You guys are looking at me like nobody speaks English. Picky? Uh huh. <laughs> too picky. You know when you want to look everything very specific yeah, as if the specific thing is where the secret is? Mm. Like did you say 110 or, or 111? Did you say, that have to be like I have to say uh, Allah or Allah or uh, Allahu or Allah. Uh. <laughs> It's not the secret that's not going to open anything for you. You're not opening anything anyways. So when you come to the realization that I have no ability to open anything because I have to say myself and abdukul ajisu da'ifu miskinu zalim. So I'm just going to do it. Alhamdulillah Allah will fix it and make it to be beautiful and also that I change my mentality thinking I'm going to do it like this, it's going to be perfect and therefore it's going to open something. 
but that's something different. So better to make my character to think that, uh, I'm going to do it. If I did it incorrect, inshaAllah guide me to make it a little bit better and don't worry about it. The main thing is do it and just recite it. You want to recite the names ahead, you want to recite this du'a from Sayyidina Ibn Arabi after you, whatever you want to do, do it. Don't worry about how you're doing it because you can't be doing it so wrong that you know the angels will come and tell you, stop it, you know you're offending us, we don't want to hear that anymore. So it's a matter of teaching yourself, I'm doing it out of love. But note that I think I'm actually getting anywhere by it. So th this, this is a deep understanding. We said before when the shaykh said, go out and hand out flyers, I thought I would hand out flyers exactly and that those 10 people I invited would all show up. I would hand out flyers and a completely different 10 people would show up. And th that was to show me, don't think that what you're doing is actually working. But because you're putting in an effort, Allah will send a relief and, and send a solution. So for us it's also the same that recite what we have to recite to the best of our ability however you think it's supposed to be correct and slowly, slowly inshaAllah if a correction is needed you'll be inspired for the correction. Don't worry about anything, just get it done and start doing it so that that love and that energy begins to grow for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Subhanahu wa rabbika rabbin izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen ila shaf al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ala alihi wa kiram wa lamin shaykhina fi tarifatan ashbandiyatun aliyya wa sayru wa saddatina siddiqin al-Fatiha.